Have you ever wondered what the costs or the downsides of potentially retiring early are? Well, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Micah Shalansky, and this is the FERS Federal Fact Check. Today we have a question from David about COLA and retiring early. It says, my understanding is that if I make an immediate retirement at MRA before 62, then I will get one, a first supplement to my first annuity, and two, I will not get COLA until I'm 62. Assuming that this is correct, does this mean that I would permanently lose COLAs? For example, if I retire at 57, assuming the COLAs are 2% for every year for five years until I'm 62 years young, the FERS annuity would be down 10% for the rest of my life. Is this a major negative to retiring before 62? That doesn't seem to be a well-known or understood. Thanks, David. David, that's a great question. Now, there's absolute pros and cons to retirement, right? The, the pro of retiring early, you get to retire early. The con is it's going to have some negatives. So let's go through how that works and you can make your own decision whether it's going to be worth it for you to retire. A couple of things that went through this. Remember our retirement rules first, right? Now you said you're gonna retire at MRA, minimum retirement age, so that means you need to have at least 30 years of creditable service to retire. So let's assume that's the case. All right, perfect. So what I like to draw is what I call a retirement income timeline. So let's say you're 57 years young and you wanted to retire at 62, I'm sorry, you and then at 62 is kind of our next gate. We're gonna retire at 57. At 62, that's when that supplement goes away. So you're right, you're gonna get the special retirement supplement for supplement up until 62, then it turns into a pumpkin. You're also gonna be eligible for your FERS pension. And the question you brought up, does your FERS pension change between retirement and 62? Yes. But the better question is, does it go up or go down? It might go down in retirement. What do we care more about, the gross or the net? The net, your net retirement income is what we care more about, right? So let's go through an example. Let's say your gross pension was $2,000 a month. Well, what are deductions that are gonna come out of that? Well, we have survivor benefits. Let's call those $200 a month. You might have tax, you should have taxes being withheld from there. You might have life insurance and you're probably gonna have health insurance, federal employee health benefits that are gonna be deducted. On your life and on taxes, right? Well, we'll start at the top. Survivor benefits, not really gonna change, right? It's 10% of the gross. So if a COLA goes up, the dollar amount goes up, but it's really not gonna change your pension. You have taxes. Okay, we could argue taxes are gonna change your retirement. Let's say they stay the same. You have life insurance. Your life insurance may go up in retirement depending on the age you retired and what elections you had. What about your health insurance? Every year, does your health insurance go up, stay the same, or go down? More often than not, your health insurance premium goes up into retirement. So David, to your point, if you're not receiving a cost of living adjustment, if your 2000 is staying flat, but your deductions are going up, what happens to your net retirement check? It actually is gonna go down in retirement time. This is really, really important and why we like to draw it out are what we call our FERS retirement income. What is your income timeline and where's your income gonna come from? Now, does this mean you should not retire early? No, that's not what it means at all. This means understand your benefits. Understand what your income is gonna be in retirement and where is it gonna come from? Where's your social security gonna come from? What are the pros and the cons when I turn that on? How does your TSP work? How do your IRAs, how do your Roths, how does your pension work in retirement? That's what this means. Now, at 62, you are gonna lose that special retirement supplement, then FERS, you know, December following you turn 62 is when COLA is announced, and then potentially your FERS would increase with your cost of living adjustment. I just say potentially, who knows what COLA is going to be in the future. But even when it goes up under FERS, you have what we call diet COLA, right? There's a bit of a scale, but basically you get 1% less than the CPI. So if the consumer price index is 4%, your cost of living adjustment is only three. Your pension is not designed to keep up with inflation. You can see it because it's on the diet COLA, it's not getting actually the consumer price index plus you have all these other deductions which could be going up more than your cost of living adjustment so you got to have your plan when's your social security going to come in how are you going to access your tsp what's your roth ira all of those components together make for a solid retirement you have a great pension you have great potential social security benefits your tsp is amazing but none of them are perfect know how they work for you to maximize your retirement 
If you have a question like this that you'd like submitted, then go down below, submit a question to us. Or if it's a more personal thing, you want one-on-one -on -one help, then click that schedule appointment button. Have a time that we can sit down virtually one-on-one -on -one and go through your own situation to know how this information applies to you and your retirement. Until next time, happy planning.